Males always are trying to be the alpha in any animal society, whether we're talking about chickens or turkeys or ducks or fox or coyotes, deer are no different. That male is trying to find his way in the world, so to speak. And what happens with white-tailed bucks is they're going to congregate when they're younger and then disperse from that natal range, that birth range. And basically what happens here is survival of the fittest. The strongest, most dominant bucks are gonna occupy the best habitat for most of the year. That changes during the rut, but let's focus on most of the year. A buck is going to basically disperse anywhere from a mile to five miles. We find that out through research from his birth range. There's a lot of things that come into play here and you'd be surprised that it's more linked to the maternal factors, the female factors, than it is the male factors. 